Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In a crazy turn of events, guys, we have gone from one of the best footies menu grinds ever to basically being left with nothing. And our favorite SBCs, the 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10, being gone. EA removed them from the game yesterday, and boy, do we have to talk about it because there's, I worry, I really do worry about this situation, guys, because. EA take a long time when putting SBCs back into this game, and that is exactly what they have to do very soon to keep this promo alive, or else this last final fun week of footies is going to kind of be ruined. So we have a lot to break down today, guys. We're going to take a look at it all and possibly what's going to come out today on Tuesday for content. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's start off with some content that was dropped yesterday that actually is still in the game. We're going with an 80-plus player pick that we knew was coming. It gets you XP. Make sure you do it at least once or however many times you need to do it to get the XP. It does require 10 golds, which in my opinion is an L. Um, but there's other W's from SBCs. Silver and bronze daily upgrades are back. You can do them 10 times per day. It's absolutely incredible, right? The requirements are the same. You still get the same crazy amount of uh, bronze and silver players from those packs. Now, the only problem is these SBCs, uh, you're out, they're out for 24 days. And now it feels like these SBCs are ahead of the daily gold upgrade, right? The whole point is you do the daily bronze and silver to rinse into the daily gold that gives you 11 players. This goes away in three days. So this goes away on Friday. If this does not get refreshed, then there will be a lot less ability to grind um, with the other bronzes and silvers or the grind won't seem as good. So hopefully they refresh that. And of course, that would mean hopefully they re refresh the crafting upgrade and maybe give us more crafting objectives during preseason. But it's just nice to have those back because it does at least help you get gold cards a lot easier with the bronzes and silvers that you can turn in for other SBCs and all of that. Now, also yesterday we had the footies daily dip, which actually, uh, actually guys, this objective is repeatable. So it's kind of another way to get gold cards in your club. If you win a match and rivals or foot champs score five goals and then play three matches, every time you play three, this resets, you get new coin boosts, you get uh, 11 gold players packs and an 81 double. So the rewards seem kind of, eh, but it's also repeatable. So that's kind of cool. And then we did have a player SBC yesterday. It wasn't Casillas, though. We had a footies Odegaard. Again, no leaks, just surprise, honestly. 5 star, 5 star Odegaard, really nice looking card. 98 rated, though, and then 84 defense and 82 physical. I'm not going to complain too much because this is a pretty easy SBC to complete, of course. If we were able to get the 84 times 10 back, we could do it for free. Um, how much did Arsenal have to pay EA, by the way, to get this SBC? Because I feel like it's been forever that we had an Arsenal SB SBC card. And, of course, Arsenal does have the deal with Pez, which we, of course, think why uh, Arsenal cards have not been juiced that well. Remember back to Premier League Tots where we had all the Arsenal cards in, but their stats weren't that good. We think there may be a little bit of rift there between EA and Arsenal, but I don't know. They at least got an SBC, so if you're an Arsenal fan... GG's decent, of course, with the craft that we have. Now, let's get into the big situation because this is dominating the topics of conversation right now on Ultimate Team. The 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10 were both dropped on the game yesterday. And you can tell by the upvote and downvote percentages on the footman that even though these are no longer in the game, when they were first dropped, people were not very happy about these, right? Because instead of just getting re-released with the exact same requirements, they dropped them with new ones. They dropped the 84 times 10 with an 88 rated squad instead of an 87 rated squad. So a slight change there. But they dropped the 85 times 10 as a two squad SBC. So like it was when it was originally dropped weeks ago, but not how it was when it was last week, just one singular 88 squad. So it was two squads, which was way more annoying than one squad. So right away, people went to Twitter, people went to, you know, everywhere to voice their uh, unhappiness, right? And I was one of those, like, we were all on stream looking at these SBCs and we were like, uh, that's horrific, right? Like, why did they make the 85 times 10 two squads? And why did they make the 84 times 10 more expensive? So there's immediate backlash and rightfully so, right? Anytime you have something that is good, that you like, it's kind of like a little kid with a toy, right? The little kid has the toy, they're enjoying it, they're playing with it, and then somebody takes it away. And uh, nobody's going to like that, right? That's exactly what feels, uh, that's what it feels like EA has done here. They've taken our toy away, the 84 times 10 and the 85 times 10. Now they're gone. I mean, they were more expensive and people were disappointed, but at least we still had them. Now they're nowhere to be found as of yet. Right now they're out because EA have said there were issues with the requirements. And this is honestly 
Kind of interesting as well. We have temporarily removed the 85 times 10 and 84 SBCs due to issues identified with their requirements. Now we've kind of st started to think about what issues these may be. Is it number one, did the community just literally body EA, big body EA to saying, okay, we're not gonna play your game as much. You messed up these requirements, so make them cheaper. And that was the issue. Or some people think the issue was the individual packs inside of the 85 times 10 when it was first released like a couple of weeks ago from a two squad segment were tradable and this time they were untradable. But I think it's more of the first one, guys. I think that everybody voiced their um, opinion and I mean, discontent with the content yesterday. Um, and EA said, wow, nobody wants to do this. They probably went on flip in and saw the 93% downvote and the 96% downvote on the SBCs. No, I'm just kidding. That's kind of funny. Uh, and they said, all right, we got to pull it back and we got to fix it. So they've done that. But now I feel like we're at an even worse spot than we were with even more expensive SBCs out. Even with the 84 times 10 being an 88 rated squad, it was still repeatable. Yeah, you wouldn't get as much fodder because you maybe had to turn in one extra special card each time because the rating was a bit higher, but it was still grindable and it was still the menu grind that we were used to. It just wasn't as good as before. And this is where the real worry comes in with this guys, right? Again, you read this tweet. Every time EA tweets out something and it says the coming days, we just, we just sink, bro. We're just like, oh no. Like, this ain't going to be coming days, man. This is going to be weeks, right? This is going to be a long time. And that's the worry that we have right now. They've taken the SBCs away. It has been approximately six hours since they have taken them away. And there are no SBCs to be found in this game. And to me, I'm worried not just because of, oh, what if I turned in fodder to those SBCs? Am I going to get it back? Yes, EA said in that tweet, they're going to be giving back to fodder. What I'm worried about is... The longer that this goes on, the more the game loses hype. Because right now, I have no packs in my store. Right now, I have very little like motivation to grind the menus, to do the 90 plus, to try to go after the 99s. I haven't done Lothar yet. I still haven't even done Erling Holland, And I have a lot less motivation, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, because that grind is no longer there. So... I don't know when they're going to come back, guys. That's the problem. I hope, and I think EA know the gravity of the situation, right? Obviously, they evaluate their game. They see what SBCs people are doing, and they know what SBCs we want to do. And these are the SBCs that we want to be doing right now. And the fact that, um, you know, they've, they've been out of the game now. However long they're out of the game, they might come in back really soon, and this is all going to be over and fixed. Um, well, hopefully, if they release it back, all we want them to do is release it back with the requirements that we had last week. Literally just hit the copy pasta button and bring back the 8410 unlimited repeatable with an 87 squad and the 8510 sure make it an 88 rated squad and even if it's going to be 10 times a day just bring it back with the same requirements that's really all that we were asking for for this last week of footies because guys this is right now this is going to be the most fun week to grind on this game for at least three weeks because the thing is when a preseason promo which is what we would assume to be starting this friday comes out it's probably not going to be a promo that has 200 special cards in packs for the best of it's probably going to be less than that ea like to bring it back down then they'll build it back up to maybe having that many specials in packs later on so this week and this last week, what we've had is probably the most fun that we were going to have on the rest of this game. That's just me being completely honest. And I wanted to finish this week off strong. There's so many great SBCs still available to do, so many cards to pack. So hopefully it comes back, guys. I hope it comes back today. I could very well see it dropping at content time today. Fingers crossed that it does. But also, guys, I mean, it could drop at a random time. Like, EA has had situations like this before where they've just gone right back out and dropped the SBC like four or five, six hours later. Sometimes, you know, maybe it will happen early today on Tuesday. Maybe it'll happen, uh, like we said, at content. Maybe it'll happen in the middle of the night between Monday and Tuesday. Who knows, right? We have no idea. Right now, we're just in the limbo uh, phase, and we're waiting because um, they said temporarily removed. So... That would give us hope that it's going to come back. Now, remember that five times per day repeatable tots pack that we had earlier on during team of the season? They said they were going to bring that back too and it never did. So I think they'll bring this one back. It just kind of depends on when. And the longer that we go without it, I mean, the more disappointing that it really is. Now, crazily enough, since there's so much to do on this game right now and so many SBCs, since this SBC, all these SBCs have gone away, look at fodder. Harry Maguire, 95 rated card. If you take a look at some of the highest rated fodder cards in this game, they're actually 
rising. Look at this. 95s were about 14,000 coins yesterday to start the day off. And 14K for McGuire all the way to 18,000 coins. If you look at all the 95s, 17, 18, 19K is where all these cards are at. Even 94s were basically discard, I'm pretty sure, at like 11 to 12K. And they are even starting to rise up now. As you can see, right, the graph just kind of slowly goes up because... The SPCs are gone and people have halfway completed Erling Hollands to do. So they're just going out and spending coins for the first time in a long time to get some of the SPCs done. So the longer the SPCs stay away, the longer that's probably going to continue. I'm not telling you to go to invest in fodder. I'm just telling you that's kind of what's happening on this game right now because of that. And I haven't taken a look at a lot of the rest of the cards. Like, is this Messi up a lot? 732K. Where was he yesterday? Messi, oh my gosh. Messi's up 100K, guys. He was 630,000 coins, and now he's 730K. Um, I mean, even he's still in packs, but the fact that there's no tradable packs that are hitting from the 85 times 10, or um, I guess not really the 85 times 10, but like the 90 plus player pick and stuff like that, that you get tradable packs back from doing multiple segments of all those SBCs, or even if you're doing Mateus or Holland, all those SBCs give back tradable packs. Wow, like his card is going up a lot. That's pretty crazy. I would have to imagine that it's happening on other places on the market as well, just because of, you know, there's not as much supply coming in. It's really just killed the grind on the menu. So hopefully it does not last too much longer because I wanted to grind out this week, man. I wanted to do more SPCs and player picks, and I know a lot of you guys did too. So let me know your comments down below. We talked about that for a long time, but that's a massive thing that's going on right now on this game, and it needs to be fixed. So it just means a lot less hype on the menu, guys, and I really think that uh, for the rest of this week, if nothing changes, it's going to be like footies is ruined. Honestly, that's what it feels like at the moment. Now, today's content, let's get into this really quickly. 87 plus player pick is expiring today. That's one of the only SBCs that is going away. And uh, I just think it'll come back, right? I mean, maybe they make it 88 plus. I don't know. Um, and they made it unlimited repeatable last week. Probably they'll do some of the same thing this week. I'm not expecting too much in that sort of things. And of course, we have to give out our daily uh, cover star Casillas shout. Still haven't seen his SBC yet. He's still leaked. Uh, and then maybe today on Tuesday as well, we'll get a last, maybe we'll get the last foot champs bonus um, uh, objective. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Because the season is ending. This is a big week for the season ending as well. Two days until it ends. I have not given too much care. Uh, to this season as you can tell i'm still level 26 27 so i'm definitely not getting to level 40 there might be a tiny bit more um, of xp to come out but probably not too much but watch out for a foot champs bonus today as well and then guys i do want to spend the last bit of this video talking about some leaks because we're starting to get some ratings leaks guys and yesterday we got some big news all right shout out to foot scoreboard and criminal fifa for fc24 official ratings leaked by foot scoreboard i think he's got the info here he's tweeting out a lot of this stuff we're getting 10 ratings per day on the countdown from the top 50 but yesterday he also tweeted out cristiano ronaldo and Lionel messi's official ratings and stats for fc24 messi's still getting 80 pace getting a minus one and a very small downgrade um, again, great usable looking card, 90 rated, but man, did they cook Cristiano Ronaldo, 77 pace and 88 shooting. And the stat I want to look at the most is 79 dribbling guys, 79 dribbling on Ronaldo's minus six. And just to be clear, you might remember that last year at the start of FIFA 23 as well, EA really downgraded the ratings on Messi and Ronaldo, especially in the pace category, right? If you look back to FIFA 22 Ronaldo, this is where we have gone in two years for Ronaldo. We've gone from a 91 rated card with 87 pace, 93 shooting, and 88 dribbling, right? Remember those stats, 87, 88, and 93. Look at his card that we're getting this year. 77 pace. 88 shooting, 75 passing, and 79 dribble. We have dropped 10 pace stats in two years on Cristiano Ronaldo. It's absolutely wild how much EA have downgraded him. And again, the reason they're doing this, guys, is because, yes, they're getting older, right? And, of course, I guess EA is kind of putting that into their power curve and also trying to emulate the stats in real life. But one thing I'll always say, too, and we said it earlier, is... EA likes to downgrade the stats on gold cards almost every single year because it gives them more room to give upgrades throughout the rest of the year. And I still think Ronaldo, Messi, they're going to get special cards in FC24, but it's more so the memes. And honestly, just kind of like it's really setting in that it's it's truly the end of a GOAT era with Messi and Ronaldo, and new guys are taking over that throne. And it just kind of, it's, it's painful to see in a FIFA sense, if you know what I'm saying. So 
that's crazy that Ronaldo is 86. I feel like it's maybe a bit harsh. Maybe 87 or 88 would have been a little bit better. But, I mean, wow. Still going to be usable at the beginning of the game. No doubt. Probably going to be five-star skills still. I would imagine four-star weak foot. Messi's card looks usable as ever. Again, both are going to be a little more difficult to link. Ronaldo will be easier to link because of more people in the Saudi league with all the transfers to link him to. Uh, but crazy, right? Crazy with those ratings there. And then scoreboard posted another set of 10 players. I would expect 10 more today. A lot of women's players in this set. Ratings 31 to 40 in terms of the highest rated cards in FC 24. Guys, two cards I want to point out here. Valverde, Hullet Gang base gold card. That is nuts, okay? That's the card that we're all going to be like chasing for in the early game to get into our midfields. That is a nuts looking card for Valverde. Also, Ocean Man, Osaman, right? With 90 pace and 86 shooting. Massive plus five upgrade for him. And uh, the rest of the ladies cards in here, Dabinia could end up being really, really cracked. Some people think she might be five-star skills. Um, Guro Ritan. 88 pace, 80 shooting, 86. Very well-rounded card. A lot of 80 stats in a left mid, left wing position there. And the rest of the cards, guys, I mean, you know, some of the center backs here, the ladies, Renard, Arene, Paredes, they don't look that fast. They don't look that usable. The goalkeeper could be pretty usable. 90 reflexes, only 40 speed, though. Uh, Dabinia looks the most usable. And maybe Guijaro uh, from Barca, the women's Barca team, looks like a pretty good box-to-box -box midfielder. So we're just going to see how these ratings continue to get put out. But definitely that Valverde card from that leak yesterday looks absolutely crazy. So we're going to talk about ratings, like I've said, more and more in the future um, as we get closer and closer to FC24. But that's kind of what we're looking forward to today on this game is more leaked ratings. So watch out for those. I think they're going to be tweeting out 10 every single day. And hopefully EA Sports release the 85 times 10 and the 84 times 10 with the correct prices. Don't mess it up in August, basically September. Give us our grind back, please, EA. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you did enjoy it, put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace out.